We can start by deleting the cube and the light as well. We're not going to need either of those. I'm going to add a UV sphere. Doesn't matter either sphere, just make sure that we shade it smooth for everything. After that, I'm going to go into the shader, go to the world shader, and I'm just going to add a quick environment map. This is just a test map that I have, and we can just use it to make sure everything's looking good in the world space. After that, just go back to the object, create a new one. We're not going to need the principal BSDF, I've just deleted it. After that, I grab a geometry node. This is where everything is going to be, and I just do a quick environment texture, use the same texture. I'll put it to an emission, just to test everything, and we can see. Something's a little bit off. It's actually everything's inverted. So what we can do is just take the incoming node and just scale it by a factor negative one. And that should just make sure it's completely clear that means everything's working as it should. So the trick I found is that if we vector rotate the incoming angle with an axis angle of the cross product with the incoming with the normal, it ends up rotating around the center of the sphere itself. So we can see as, as, we, as we increase the angle, we start getting some weird rotations around the center. And this is what we end up wanting. Just going negative, you can see everything starts going wacky, which is what we want. So all that we want now is a function that changes that angle, depending on how far away we are from the center. And the dot product is what we end up wanting, because we can see right here the value is actually zero along the edge, and it's a factor of one in the center. So all that we need is a function that gets us a desired deflection from that value. So there's a lot of different functions that you can do for that. All the general relativity math itself is far too complicated. I've spent a lot of time trying to understand elliptical integrals and whatnot, and I just ended up giving up and finding a suitable solution. I highly recommend you go and try and find something that's a little bit better, but here's the solution. Here's the function that I found. Try and find a better one if you can. So as we plug that into the angle, we can see, hey, we're getting some lensing that looks pretty accurate. Looks like it's good enough. The last thing that we need still is the black hole itself, so I found if we just take the dot product, find a value that's greater than 0.995, we can just set that to just be a black value, and it's going to mimic what a black hole will look like. And so after that, we're done with all the hard math. At this point, it's just making something that looks nice. I delete the environment map that we were using, and I grab one that NASA provided. I'll put the link in the description. I up the strength as well, just so that we can actually see something in this. Just rotate the camera to find a good position, using the actual galactic plane to have some contrast. You can just zoom in, just set the camera to where we want it. And then all we need to do is just render. So that rendering is done in real time, 0.33 seconds about. Almost all of that is just from shader compilation and a lot of back-end Blender stuff. It ends up working out really well for me, and I'm sure that you can make it a little bit better with just a better algorithm for the deflection, but overall it ends up turning out really well.